Let it not be said that ZOS doesn't try when people complain. So I did the 2000, the Z, SZ 2000s. These are the SZ 1000s. These are cheaper. These are a little over a hundred bucks. And when I did the original 2000s, I don't do research into a product if I don't have to. I just put them on and I plug them in and go. And I judge on that. If I don't even have to know the price, that makes it even better. So that when I'm reviewing, I look it up I'm like, holy shit, these are expensive. But I should have looked up on the, t when they were so bad that I should have looked up and I should have known that there was two drivers and there's a big driver in the back and a little driver in the front. And there's, there's literally a dual driver system in, in the 2000s and the 1000s here. And it's interesting, but the main complaint I got and the reason that I, I when the guy said, hey, I got the 1000s, you want to try those guys? I said, yes, so I could complain on video. I should not have to take any headphone and to use it properly, fuck with everything. Everything. People are like, no, 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 no. You got to do at least a 20 decibel bump on the entire lower spectrum of the band. And then you got to put like five watts into that motherfucker. Mm. And then it'll just shake because it's the most bass. It's for the most bass. It's for the most bass. Zeos, Zeos is for the most bass. Whatever. Shut up. For you people, shut up. So here are the 1000s. Remember the creaking and the rattling? None on this pair. All right? They're actually pretty solidly put together. I don't like this plastic quite as much. I like, I like this. I like the ring here. This all seems to work well. He's put the um, HM5. What's it called on here? Sheepskins. These are his. Uh, actually, I think he sent me... Yeah, here are the original pads and candy. He sent me Japanese candy. I had one. I don't like it. But, so here are the original pads. They're not the worst pa I mean, I've seen worse pads. These are actually pretty okay. But, what they're not is uh, Sheepskin HM5 Brain Rings pads. Which are so nice. Fucking yes. Already like the headphones better, just because Sheepskin. Now. If you plug these straight in to an unmodified source, these headphones suck. They suck. They suck as bad as the 2000s. They're just muddy and terrible and they lack luster in every aspect of a headphone. So after reading all the comments and what you had to do, because you gotta, or you gotta do all this shit, Zio, or else it's not right, I've set up this little fucking experiment for you people. What I've got going on now is the Aoun X1S is acting as the DAC, and currently it's feeding these headphones. It's not the most powerful headphone amp, but I'm playing and it's like muddy and terrible. However, I am running quite a drastic EQ. I'll describe this now so you know, because I just spent the last half hour creating, crafting this for you, and I'm using the graphic equalizer plugin for more uh, finite. I got a monitor on for if I can't like do things. Here we go. Yes. All right. So I got zeros all the way to like 50. Comes down a little bit. Then we're swooping down to as low as negative like six at 315 hertz. And then we're coming up, 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 up to like one and a quarter, one point oh, sixteen hundred hertz. And then an immediate drop off to 2000 is is at like 2000 is nearly at zero. And then 2,530,015 th 30, are basically at negative seven because there's a bad sound in these that hurts and it's right there. I've isolated to those that at region between 2,500 and like 3,500, you gotta just kill those. And then uh, the highs in general were just shit. So I just, I, I left those at like negative five dB straight across. So that's, this is a horror show for anyone who knows anything about headphones. So, let's continue the horror show. Fucking love that horror arm. Sit right here, baby. BB. Okay, sit there. Continue the horror show. So, here is the Own X7S, the Class A headphone amplifier. Really good power. It's nice and warm, toasty even. Could probably melt cheese on it. But, so here, this takes care of the power you people requested. But, 
that EQ, I didn't, you notice I didn't bump the bass up. And that's because here, sitting beside me, is the Gorak by DBX. And I've reviewed this, and I'm going to give this, this is going to get a little more praise. Because right here is the sub synth. And what sub synth does, it's a, it's a, it's a preamp, basically, that takes an input signal and gives you an output signal and lets you run these things through it. You can run EQ, you can do balance leveling, volume, uh, compressor, which will take the louder sounds and bring them down, the quieter sounds will bring them up. So basically, you get a big flat line of sound if you need it. Anti-feedback, which you won't need unless you have a microphone. A mute button, which, who doesn't need a mute button? And then sub-synth. And so I hooked, I pulled this all apart so that I could put these headphones on with sub-synth. What subsynth does is it takes bass information that is above normal subwoofer areas, like in the 120 to 100 hertz. It takes that sound, it drops it a full fucking octave, and it plays it around like 20 to 40 hertz. So it can make it sound. If you're using speakers, and I've tested it on the Studio 230s, and I tested it on the Air Motive 6s, and hell, I've, I've got it in my living room, and I tested it on everything out there, the, the Bukarts and the... Uh, Ohm, Walsh's, it will make it sound, it takes the, it's not like just hitting bass boost. Normal bass boost on something is just bass boost. And it takes the EQ and it just goes, uh. What this does is completely different. It synthesizes a subwoofer by taking the bass and other things that aren't bass and putting them there and then boosting it. So this is the cheat box for these headphones. Because I finally got it to work. Subsynth on, I maxed it out at 99% because if I'm going to go to hell, I'm going to hell in a handbasket. 100% subsynth on this, maxing out this volume because I'm using this as an amp anyway. This is not powerful enough. This is powerful enough. That EQ was made after the subsynth was put in line. So now, while listening to songs that I know and love, it is a listenable experience to use these JVCs, where it literally wasn't before. No EQ and no power, you cannot use these, they're garbage, throw them away. Fuck up the EQ real bad, add in an entire piece of hardware that doesn't need to be in anyone's system except if you have these headphones. Put a lot of power through it, and then we can jam. You can't... They are literally bouncing across my head. That's how much low end these can produce. Because they've got a subwoofer built in. You just have to feed them a shit ton of power and actually have so much low end being sent there. Like, this is, this is, not, this is not normal. This, what this is doing to the sound... You, I, I'm all for adding one of these into a headphone system. Just you could add a touch. 10% subsynth. 10%. This is adding 99% because that's as high as it'll go. And every song that has low end is stupid. New Kids on the Block. Why do I even own this? Oh, Best of Christmas. Oh. Here, Rodrigo and Gabriel. Next. Next. Basement Jacks. All right, you've seen that. I'm gonna hit okay on this so I could actually search. Oh, fuck. Do your thing, the Jacks Club Mix from Basin Jacks. There's, I'm gonna have to redo the sound demo so you can understand how stupid this is. Actually, it's probably not even gonna work because this, the microphones are just gonna peak constantly. Can I just close the mic? There's just so much vibration. I'm not gonna be able to review headphones again. Not because I'll be smitten on these, because I'll be deaf. Oh! Randy Travis, Father Along Vocals. It's just a doomsday march of low end. Take it to 90%, 90% substance. If you got these headphones and you actually want to listen to them, try this. You've got to have power. You've got to have an amp. You can't just have a DAC amp combo like that because you need to be able to send the signal in, through, and out, and back into this. 
into some, something, an Arist or even a Sap 6 might work. Take too long to set that up. Got his basement jacks paying royalties to be played like a lot. House of a Thousand Corpses live. And the owner of these, by the way, said I could blow them up. Just blow them up, Zeus. I don't care, because that's what owners of these live beats are like. Fucking blow it up. Yeah. It is a dumb amount of bass. I gotta give it that. It's the most bass I've ever heard in a thing. Carpenter Brute, here we go. And you can't run it without that EQ, because it's just, then it's just stupid bass and muddy as hell. I had to yank some, some frequencies out, certainly kill that stupid 2500, 3500, just crunchiness. It was bad. It was bad. But I guess, I guess now it's literally, this is what you people are all talking about. Of course, I'm Zeo, so I've done better than you. Boom. Uh, but feel free to steal my EQ. Uh, you know what? I'll even take a screenshot and post it in the description of my EQ. There we go. Boom. And I'm going to send that. Nowhere, because I don't have anything open. K, K. So this is like 30 bucks for that button. Now if I shut that off, back to something that's got stupid bass. Yeah. The EQ has fixed a lot of the sound problems. I. You should never have to EQ headphones to make them to your liking. If you EQ, that means just get another headphones, you don't like them. But I've EQ'd these so drastically that it's just, it's basically saying, you know what, these suck. These are just sucking. Because right now, they're listenable. If I go back to the, to the playlist, to the EQ, and I... I can't just shut it off. Actually, I could probably go to the DSP and shut it off. Yeah, yeah. Graphic equalizer, out. Ah! You hear the highs? That's, that's, nothing's happening. It's just pure. These are, right now, being played pure. Oh, fuck. Come back, EQ. No. I kicked it out again. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, okay. That EQ is needed for them to be listenable at all. And then they have just like normal low, low bass. And then you just hit that. And then it's like... Now they're shaking. So, alright. This is what you people wanted. Hybrid. Das Land Splitch. Post-apocalyptic. Uh, Stefan Anion is just Hoonigan Spirit. That's a good song. Can you hear it? I'm sure you can't even hear it. I'm just bobbing my head for no reason. It's, look, they're, they're doing a thing. They're officially doing a thing. And now that I've done a thing, I gotta decide how I'm, because I'm pretty sure, I did all my sound demos for the headphones I borrowed before I did the reviews. Because I, if I'm doing two sound demos, that's wasteful. I used to do like six or seven in a row, and then I just take my time with the headphones and then listen to them. Now that I've got this set up, Screw it. You don't need to know how stupid these are. They're stupid. They're the stupidest things ever. I highly don't recommend them. Still, alright? I don't care if, you know, bitch in the comments all you want. These are not good headphones. They're interesting. They're interesting. 
Three-wheeled cars are interesting. And there are groups of people who just fucking love three-wheeled cars. Watch Top Gear. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just... And these are a three-wheeled car. They're terrible headphones unless... Three-wheeled cars are terrible cars unless you're driving in a perfect straight line at 25 miles an hour and they're so efficient. Because but these are terrible headphones unless you swap the pads, put a shit ton of power through a goddamn DSP and then equalize the shit out of them so you don't die. And then they're, they're acceptable with a lot of bass. I, I couldn't add them to my wall. Every time I wanted to use them, I'd have to go hook this monstrosity up and then load a goddamn EQ. And I'm not willing to do that, and nor should any of my viewers be willing to do that. But if you're one of those people, then what are you asking me for? You've already decided on your, your fate as a music listener. And by all means, you could have this set up if you have these. And if this is all you've got, then that's all you got. But this is way too much work for the payoff. It's great. Low, I mean, it's... Lo it's not normal low end. It's like bass shaker, actual physically violent low end. And it's fun. And fun. Things are fun. Some things are fun. But are they worth it?